So today we're going to talk about the market cap, Bitcoin, altcoins that have just been beasting it, and then altcoins that have just been static and have been dropping. I'm going to mostly talk about the ones that I've already done videos on, which means ones that I may be invested in and maybe some of you. I also want to talk about a few pieces of news that I feel are relevant for today. And I want to do this segment as often as possible to try to get more volume in videos. I need to spread the word, so to say, of crypto pigs. Let me know what you think. I love to hear your opinions. Here we go. Hey there, YouTube. I am Jean with Crypto Picks. First, thank you to all my subscribers. We just hit 3,200 subscribers. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Smash that like and subscribe button. And here we go on our market analysis. So, 382 billion market cap right now. This is ridiculous. If you look back in uh, September, what were we? Under 100 billion. We have gone bonkers now bitcoin is thirteen thousand five hundred dollars was again september like two thousand eight hundred if you would have just invested a huge amount of money in bitcoin no altcoins you would just be super excited right now everybody's getting crazy about iota was just just going crazy but bitcoin is actually the story we should be looking at because it is just multiplied tremendously now iota is one i do want to talk about because let's get into altcoins iota is at four dollars and fifty cents i think it hit six dollars earlier and this was back maybe a month ago it was under 50 cents these are the type of gains that we are excited to see and i hope that iota and also eos i hope neither of these two correct too much because if they don't it shows that these huge projects that have great tech behind them will pump especially with news iota had some of the biggest news i have heard from in terms of partners in a long time if ever and it shows in the price and this gives me confidence that when news comes out in good tech the price is just going to go crazy and that's exciting to see because the worst part is when you've got news, it goes up to $5, then IOTA goes all the way back down to 50 cents because then that loses all the, the confidence in the investors and you don't want to invest. Even if the tech is good, you're afraid to put your money into it. So with that being said, my favorite coin, why did I put zero? What the heck? Zero X. So this one has been stressing me out. I sold zero X about two days ago at 22 cents, I believe it was. I wanted to jump in, but I wanted to ride Bitcoin and I have been riding Bitcoin. And so I have been making profit, but it hit 36 cents today. I actually got super scared that it was just going to rock it like IOTA, but there wasn't any significant news. It's pretty much been a static coin and it's finally got a little bit of a push. With that being said, I have not jumped in yet just because I don't want to get burned here. I love zero X and I think it's a great coin, but I do want to retrace a little bit because I want to get as much as possible. My goal is a hundred thousand zero X. We'll see what happens. If it does drop, I am going to jump in and just leave it and forget it. So now let's talk about the coins that have actually been stressing me out. So I told you I was writing Bitcoin. I had a huge amount of money in there, at least in terms for myself. For some of you, you're probably like, what the heck? That's my play money. But Ethos, I jumped in at about $1.50, 13,000 sats. And I did not do this on purpose. When Bitcoin was like 10,000, I put a huge order of Ethos in about a dollar <laughs> bitcoin went up that 13,000 sats turned into a dollar 50 and now i'm in ethos with a huge amount of my portfolio i don't mind though because i know this tech is huge and when they have some news it should just pump like crazy also block mason i have a huge portion in this oh it's actually gone up so i bought around 21 cents it's gone up so i should be in the positive but i bought it 1900 sats so if I would just stuck in Bitcoin, I would have made more money. Then we have Everix. This one is killing me. I bought about $1.55. I put a fairly big portion of my portfolio in this. I do believe in this one and I know it will be great. It's just hard to look at this when everything else has just been going crazy. And then finally, Neblio. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know I love Neblio. And I did have a huge portion of Neblio, but I was trying to trade it to increase my 
my my numbers and I was doing great actually and I traded about two days ago it pumped and I was like good I can get out and make a positive positive amount of money and jump back in when it dips well guess what it did not dip jump to about five dollars I was sitting here FOMOing I sold about 2800 sats and as you can see it's already dropping back down it's still a dollar more than I sold it from but since I've kept it in Bitcoin, I've actually not lost any money. So that comes to the next point. Do we buy these altcoins or do we just hold Bitcoin? If Bitcoin goes to 50,000, let's just go crazy. 50,000 from now, that's still times three or four. Even if these coins times four, it's probably not making you the, the, the amount of money you could have made staying in Bitcoin because that's when you have to compare the sats. So... Let's say Nebdeo goes to $20, but if I would have stayed in Bitcoin, I, there's still the possibility that I could have made more money just sticking in Bitcoin. So this is an interesting concept that I know a lot of people like to overlook because they look at the USD dollar, which is actually what I do. If I if I jumped in at $2, that $2.50, that I've made money. But with the rise of Bitcoin, that $2.50 could have really been like $6. What do you think? Do you think it's worth sticking in altcoins or just throw it all in Bitcoin. So I've done enough rambling. Let's talk about these new segments. So first we got Indonesia. We got the Central Bank of Indonesia is fighting over the potential use of Bitcoin in terrorist financing, money laundering, and drug trafficking. I mean, how many times do we have to hear this? China banned, I guess China banned ICOs, but Bitcoin is seeing all this negative press from china indonesia and then russia was talking about it in september it doesn't seem to be affecting the price so i'm not too worried which is this is good it means bitcoin is resilient to all these places trying to cause fud and then to my next point is this crypto kitties <laughs> it's congesting the ethereum network and it's causing some icos to postpone their token sale just because the blockchain is so clogged up this is good and bad. So in my opinion, it's bad because it shows the weaknesses of Ethereum. If we would have not had this, and this is where the good part, and had this like stress test, when the big companies, the big enterprises would have jumped in and this would have happened, it would have been super negative. Now we've done this stress test and we can, they can jump into Ethereum and just scale it better, fix it, whatever they need to do to make sure this doesn't happen on a much larger scale. So with that being said, that's my market analysis, talking about some altcoins, Bitcoin, a few pieces of news. I'm thinking about doing this as much as possible to get my, my video volume up. So that way I get more exposure to different types of people and maybe drive up my subscribers and be able to get more people aware of all the videos I do. Let me know what you think, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.